Hi everybody, it is Miss Baker here. I am Miss O'Donnell's intern in first grade, and I am here today to read to you guys a story. And with this story, um, there's a little activity that you can do at the end if you want to. You don't have to, of course, but if you want to, it's kind of fun, so you can try it out. But let's start reading. So this is called The Dot by Peter Reynolds. The Dot. So it says, art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can draw my name. I can't draw my name, but I can sign my name. Hmm. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. There it is right there, Vashti's dot. And there she, she signed it right there, Vashti. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot, all the dots. The blue mixed with the red, she discovered that she could make a purple dot. Wow, so when you mix two colors, they make other colors sometimes, just like that. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Whoa, do you see this? So she made it like a, she used the white part of the paper to make a dot, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at all of her dots. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. They sure did, look at all of those dots. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line even with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. The end. Wow, so you saw that at first, Vashti, she was really nervous about drawing, and she didn't feel like she was that good at it. But the art teacher proved to her that she can really, anyone can draw if you try your hardest, and you, you know, everyone, art to you is art, you know? Anything you do can be art, and that's what our activity is going to be today. So, this story is called The Dot, right? So, let me go back to the front. So, what you can do, which is kind of a fun activity, you don't have to, but if you want to draw on any piece of paper, it could be a big piece of paper, a little piece of paper. I just have a little index card. It can be really be any paper. If you start by just drawing a dot in the middle, a fun creative activity to do 
is to see how many different pieces of art or pictures you can make this dot into. So like right here, my little dot, I can make it into a flower. Let's do that quick. Or I could make it into a face with make the dot the nose or the eyes. You can do so much with just a dot. And I want if you want to do a fun little thing, you can try that out. Look, there's Miss Baker's flower. And then at the bottom, I have to sign it just like Bashi did. So I'll sign it, Miss Baker. It's kind of messy, but ta-da, see? So that's a fun activity. Just draw a dot in the middle of your paper, just like this. A dot. Oops, a dot. And see what you can make out of your dot. That's just fun. If you want to try that out, just to do something after reading the story, go right ahead. Um, but if not, I hope you enjoyed the story. I loved reading to you guys, and I will see you soon. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Toodles.